We've come this far by faith. Leading on the Lord. Leading on the Lord. Trusting. Trusting in his holy word. He'll never, never fail me. Yet. He never failed me. Yet. Oh no, no. Can't turn around. Let me go ahead and, and share my testimony. Yeah, I had to please do. do. Yes. So basically, um, I didn't know how I was going to pay my rent one of those times. And just like all the other times, God has always made a way out of literally out of nowhere. Um, so last week I put my taxes in, I went on TurboTax and put my taxes in and you know, with the whole government shutdown thing, I really didn't know when I was actually going to get my, my refund, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, so today I woke up and I was, you know, I started just talking to God this morning, just talking to him, just, just really just at, you know, ask for forgiveness and telling them, you know, just, just really just talking to him. And in my prayer, I also asked him about my apartment. I said, Lord, if you can make another way like you did all, all those other times with this apartment situation, please make a way. I said, Lord, please let it where, see, I want y'all to really listen to what I'm saying. I said, please, Lord, make it to where my check is enough for my job. Because I knew I wasn't going to have enough because I haven't been worked. It's at the end of the month, so they did not have a lot of work for me at all. So my check, you know, I was uh, I was hoping that some way he could make it to where it was going to be enough. And and I said, um, as soon as I got done with that prayer, I got an email from my boss, and it was my payroll. It lets you know how much you're going to get paid, you right. know, before you get paid. And I looked on there, and the first thing I saw was it was a lot less than what I needed. I was like, oh no, and. Real, that's when the, the, the that's when the the tug of war started happening in my mind. And now I'm thinking, oh, he's gonna help. He's not gonna help me. And then the other part was like, he is. He got. He he he's been helping you ever since since you've been here. It's been three years. He's brought you this far. Right. But it's kind of going back and forth in my head. And then um, so I say, okay, I pray. I just say, okay, God, you make a way. Please, or something. I start. Really, I start thinking, how am I gonna pay this now? How? What am I? What am I gonna do now? Right, right, so right, right. Do. That's what I got. I'm gonna do it. So, what am I need to do? So, but I'm still kind of going back and forth. So, I said, let me check my turbo tax. No, I don't know. Nothing ain't gonna happen. I mean, they. It's no way they're gonna send me no money right now. Just for everything that's been going on, and. I checked TurboTax and it said that my refund was still in acceptance, so it wasn't even a, it wasn't even like you know approved or anything. Right. So I said, oh okay, they didn't do it. I said, well another thought said, well go and check your um the government website because the government can show you you know more accurate. And so I went on there and I typed everything in and it shows that it was approved. And then it shows that it was going to be sent out on February the 5th. And I'm thinking, oh, man, February the 5th. I said, wait a minute, today is February the 5th. It said between February the 5th and February the 10th. Uh -huh. So I went and logged in onto my Bystar account, my bank account, and the money was in my account. Ah! Now, how is that even possible? Because they have to send that through a check. Check take days to even get onto your account. Wow. They sent it to me. They said it was going, it was getting sent out today. How did it even end up in my account the same day? Wow. How? Look at God. So when I get paid, I'm not only gonna have and the thing is I said look, I forgot I left out a part, I said, Lord, please make it to where I have more than enough. Right. Now he made it to where I had more than enough because now with this and then plus the money I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have more than enough. And <laughs> and the reason why I said to pay attention to what I was saying was because see how I pray and I ask God. To do it a certain way, and I was expecting him to do it that way. You and were you see specific. How God did it his way. Specific in your prayers, right? Yes, but you saw how God did it, but He, he did it His way. Yes. 
Yes. So that's why I say, like, and I say that to say this, like, you know, we pray for stuff and we pray for things to happen. We got to really think, you know, we got to realize that it's not, it may not, our prayer may not be answered the way we pray. Right. Or the way we're, we're expecting it. It's going to be, it, it can be answered, but it may be answered a totally different way out of the blue, out of a way that you weren't even expecting it to go. It, it, you know, and it, so I said it to not be discouraged when it seems like your prayers aren't being answered because it can be answered. It, 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 it could already have been answered, but it just, it's going to happen in a way that you're not even expecting. It's going to be a, like a surprise almost. Yeah. So that's, yeah. That, was, that was a surprise. And I'm like, whoa. Wow. It didn't work out. The, first, the day it said it's supposed to even go out. How? Like, how? How did right. it even happen? So right. and I, believe, I believe God had a lot to do with that. 